you hear a physiotherapist talking to a patient called Marvin Cheney. For questions 13 to 24, complete the notes with a word or short phrase that you hear. You now have 30 seconds to look at the notes. So, Marvin, I understand you've been referred to me because you are experiencing some symptoms of long COVID, and your doctor suggested that some physiotherapy could help. That's right. I've got your notes here, but as we haven't met before, could you just run through for me how all this started, any treatment you've had, and anything else you feel I should be aware of? Yeah, sure. It all started when I caught COVID-19. I mean... I hadn't been vaccinated, so maybe it was worse than it might have been, but who knows. Anyway, I had it pretty bad, but not bad enough to go to the hospital. I had the usual flu-like symptoms that turned into a dry cough. Mm -hmm. It completely wiped me out. I never felt so sick in my whole life, but I got over it. And in time, the symptoms pretty much disappeared. I was coughing for about a month, but otherwise I thought I'd beaten it. I see. So when did the long COVID symptoms start? I'd say like six weeks afterwards. The cough had gone, but I still wasn't feeling 100%. Right. Looking back, the whole experience had kind of sapped my energy. I didn't feel like going to the gym like I used to do before because I was getting out of breath just doing ordinary things like carrying groceries. Then other stuff started happening. I wasn't sleeping properly, so I was tired pretty much the whole time. Like, I'd wake up with a headache, and it would go on all day, just get worse and worse. And that's when the other symptoms would kick in. Okay. Like, my brain would go kind of fuzzy, so I couldn't focus on anything properly. And I'd start to get this thing where I couldn't remember stuff. Like, words would be on the tip of my tongue, but just wouldn't come out. I mean, that was weird. Anyway, at first, I didn't make the connection with COVID. I assumed something else was going on. And when I started to get palpitations and chest pains, I went to see the doctor because I thought it must be a problem with my heart. Yes, of course. So did you get a diagnosis and treatment then? Well, I had all kinds of tests, including an ECG, and they put me on a heart monitor for five days. Mm -hmm. And that's when they said it was arrhythmia, and they put me on beta blockers. And I did start to feel better, like almost immediately. Mm -hmm. And they also said that my vitamin D levels were low and that I should take supplements for that. And that helped too. Okay. And they said this was all down to long COVID, apparently. And I'm still getting some strange symptoms despite the medications. And that's why I've come to see you. Okay. Tell me about those and how I might be able to help you. Well, basically, if I overdo things, like if I try to do too much or if I get anxious, then I start getting the symptoms again. Mm -hmm. Mostly fatigue, but also a certain amount of joint pain, often in my hips, but it can also affect my ankles, even my feet sometimes. Right. It's like a dull ache, and it seems to be related to the fatigue. Mm. I also get a certain amount of numbness in my fingers, which is a bit worrying. I mean, I still do quite a bit of exercise, but I mostly do gentle stuff. Like, I've always done yoga, but I've also recently started doing Tai Chi, and that seems right for me. Mm. I would like to start going to the gym again, though I'm aware that I shouldn't do anything too strenuous. So, I was hoping to get some guidance on strength building exercises. I mean, should I be using things like resistance bands or even trying light weights? It would be really good to do things like that, but I feel I need to do it under someone's guidance at the moment. Yes, of course. Well, thank you for all that background, Marvin. That's really given me a good idea of what we need to do. I'd like to start by...